Bro, I'm ready now, so keep quiet. <clears throat> hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. So today's video is called Question Time, and I'm your host, Jay to the Miller. Right, on today's video, we have a very special guest. Let's welcome Dee! Woo, 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 give it up! Hello, Hello and welcome. What's up? So, today's question, which we get asked too many times in our life, is How do you afford to go on holiday on your finances? Well, first and foremost, I go on holiday because I work. Work, 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 work. <laughs> so I've got a job and I have enough to sort out my priorities and I have enough to have for myself. And instead of going out or spending it on stuff, I'd rather just go on holiday. That's true. And you know what as well that I don't like when people ask me is, is if like, I owe you money. Like don't come to me unless, like I said, I owe you money. Like. I, I don't go on holiday exactly. if I don't have the money for it. I have the money for it, so I'll go on holiday. Exactly. I don't say to you, oh, hey, um, can you lend me 300 pound please because I need to go on holiday. No, I work, I earn my money, so how I spend it is my business. That's what really annoys me. It's like, because uh, last year I went on like, five, six holidays, and people asking me, oh, you go on holiday quite a bit, what's your trust fund, <laughs> or how much have you got saved? At the end of the day, that is my business. <laughs> that is my business. I've got two accounts with Nationwide. You tell them, girl. What is my savings? <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. One is my savings, and one I do all my bills and whatever. So like, whatever's left is what I spend it on. Mm -hmm. And I like to travel, mm -hmm. so. Like we don't spend a lot of money on like bags, um, shoes. And don't get us wrong, people who do that, do you. That's your that, choice. That's, do you know what I mean? That's that what you choice. like to spend your money on. Yeah. I like to spend my money on food and travel. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> so what's the problem? Like I don't question you about, oh, how's your finances if you can afford a Gucci or a Louis Vuitton bag? Don't come for me if I can get on an easy jet flight for £99 there and back. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And that's the thing We've what people connections. don't get here. <laughs> is the fact that our holidays are not expensive. No. They're no, not. They're really not. But we just we are able to find good deals. That's all it is. We're able to find good deals. Mm -hmm. we, don't that just, is it. we don't do like packages, like go to Thomas Cook and try and get a package. We do mm -hmm. it separate. Mm -hmm. When you do it separate, you get a better deal. It, mm -hmm. it might take a bit longer, but it's worth it in the end. It like recently really we booked is. Santorini for a good good amount. Yeah. Actually that was an even that was a package. <laughs> My bad. Santorini. That was, was a package. That was part of um oh, last, last minute. minute. Sorry. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> That's the one time, but um, no, that's that's a package online. It's not a package oh, yeah, that we've yeah. gone to an actual travel agent, which is different. Yeah, so it's an online kind package, of. which is like girl, please. There's no difference. A deal. It was a deal because lastminute.com. That's another thing. Lastminute.com. You get deals. We mm -hmm. found it and we booked it. All you need to do is Google cheap holidays to Santorini, and you get a list of things. But our thing is like, don't always go for the first link because they're necessarily not always the best deal. It's about going to the second page mm -hmm. <laughs> and looking. Like, as you said, like we booked Santorini and it wasn't that expensive. It was quite a good deal. Like, it's it? such a good deal. Mm. And also it depends the times that you go as well. Exactly. Like, you have to put that into consideration as well. Like, with us, we're not into hot, hot weather. We could have warm weather. She I can't gets really good stroke. <laughs> stroke. And so I just fresh. can't de deal with it, so. <laughs> We just go for warm weather, so it all depends on what you like. And this is that's the thing, it's an individual thing. We like travelling at a time when it's not as expensive because mm -hmm. it's not as hot. And that's not because we're trying to be cheapskates, it's just what we like. Mm -hmm. And it happens that we get a cheap deal for it. We don't like hot, hot and weather. Which allows us to go several times, several times a year. Yeah. Like some people might go for that one big holiday. In the summer. Which is, what, one or two grand. Yeah. We will go for four different holidays yeah. for one or two grand that's combined. True. Combined. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's true. So what are your questions, what, what is your response, your, your, your end response to people that question your finances? Mine are mostly colleagues, which makes it even worse because we both work together. <laughs> 
we work together so if i am booking my annual leave in advance because i know where i want to go then you're like oh dear Do you know another holiday ones? come on no it's the ones that question your finance and then say that they ain't got money but yet they're going on a holiday too whoa and that's to you and you know who you are <laughs> <You're> so annoying <laughs> hello <laughs> but anyway let's not bring the shade room right here right now it's not about that time but seriously like but yeah all i've got to say is mm -hmm. once you, if you're earning money you do what you want to do with it as long no as you, should, wait, 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 you can do what you want with it but as long as you pay your debts yeah your bills and you ain't got no other like things that you need to pay before you start booking holidays because mm -hmm. that's when the questions start coming yeah. unnecessarily do you know what I mean? If I'm going on a holiday and I've got bailiffs at my door when I come back, <laughs> that's a different story. But I ain't got that boy, so... She's going to be on that thing. What's that channel that comes on Channel 5? Um, Bring in the pay, bailiffs. Pay, pay, pay off, we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, ah, that's not even something no, to laugh about. Like, sorry, <laughs> no. Well, technically, don't buy it. Because that's in front of all the time. No, like, but on a, on a serious note, though, I think my closing statement for people that question my finances is look at my bank balance. The seriousness on my face though. No, I'm joking. <laughs> that's so you're you're out my personal statement. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. <laughs> if I'm not asking you for money to support the things that I want to do, then I feel like you can't question me like that. Simple. Peace out, guys. So, Dee, thank you uh, again for coming onto my channel on Welcome. Question Time. And I hope we will see you again. Bye, guys. Bye for now, Dee. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe. Until then, bye for now.